Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Munib here from Zion Horizon. So in this video we are going to create this animation in die flow and then we will use after effects to create a loop of this animation. So, so before this is my YouTube channel, I have many videos on type flow of 3ds max and phoenix fd subscribe it and also i am a freelance 3d artist so let's get started start by creating our torus node increase its size and now create a tie flow so we are using the birth voxel operator to give birth to particles select the our to select our torus node hide it and now we have the particles so turn the display to geometry so no particles are showing because we have not given a shape to particles so let's give it a shape using the shape operator change it to cube and now you can see so increase the amount of cubes so we have increased the let's 2.5 now use a scale operator and scale down the particles to 90% so we now we can clearly see the cubes ok now we are use we want these particles to be physics object to do that let's add a physics shape operator now Now all the particles are affected by physics. So let's add a physics switch. Change it to kinematic. You can use deactivate, but in this case it does not matter. So let's create a box. Make sure it's big enough. Now convert it to irritable poly and animate it like I am doing. such that in the end of animation it covers the whole object and that's it now use a surface test copy these two by holding shift change it to dynamic let's make it so now you can see the result but it's not working it's because we have not selected the object so change it to volume inside now you can see some particles are affected by the physics shape so those particles who are inside the volume of the box will will be physics objects add a mesh operator to make the particles renderable now we use a material id change it to random because we want to give random party random materials to our particles so create um let's create a material using multi sub object material change the set number to five and copy them okay now to for the coloring of these materials i use google color plate 
so search the color palette on the google you will see colors so these colors will look better than just random colors so use them in your render to get good result so now our effect is working increase the iterations of turbo smooth to 3 and that's it our effect is working our animation is working and now this is my scene so in the material i have used these materials with these colors and the my type flows is similar to i but i have taught you The setup is very simple. I have three lights. The multiplier multiplier of the si light side lights are five, and the front light is two, so that we can get some variation. So, render your scene. The render set my render settings are. I am using bucket and with the maximum sub divs of three. And using and an ATP resolution. So render it out, and now let's move to After Effects. So in After Effects, I have imported my animation. So duplicate it. Use Control D to duplicate it. Move it, and now you can see it's repeating itself. So to make it a loop, go to Time and Time Reverse Layer. So now this layer is a reverse of the previous layer. So in this way we get a perfect loop. Export it to render query to make to render the video as H.264 video. Don't use the regular render query, use NVIDIA encoder query. I hope this video helps you. I this Kindly subscribe my channel. I have many videos and Typhoon and 3ds Max. So that's it for today's videos. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching.